Well, what's going on guys? It's Shane. We're back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Roblox, checking out, what is this? Broward District Schools. This is their all ranked game. I had a few people told me to check this out. Um, there was a little bit of confusion. Um, back in the past, I did a video on a Broward game. That one I think was leaked. Um, this one doesn't appear to be. Um, everything looks good so far. Um, I did check out some of the buses, um, and I mean, you know, I, I don't know everything, but, um, I'm just going to take my chances and, uh, go out on a limb and say they're not leaked. So here we are looking at the UI here. Um, I like the mini map. That is a very nice addition. And with the clock, uh, you don't see a lot of games doing that, um, specifically bus simulators. Um, here's their spawner. Not the best looking, obviously. Uh, it's it's very it's very basic, uh, but you know, considering the size of the group itself, under a thousand members, you know, it's to be expected. Um, but yeah, I'm here just to do a little review, check out the game, uh, list any improvements that might be needed, um, and I only do that because I am myself a developer, so. It's never to criticize, but always to kind of give advice, basically. Um, so let's go ahead and spawn in some buses. They have, if you hover over it, um, it doesn't say much. It just says, yeah, no, see, it's, a lot of things are incomplete, uh, but we're just going to spawn in a random one and see what we got here. So they have a C2. I kind of like the C2, so I think we're going to go with that. Um, now, Broward is in Florida. Um, you can tell because of the the bumper here and the wheels, uh, the rims. Uh, definitely, yeah, Florida, yeah, most certainly. Um, Florida is one of my favorite districts, if you didn't know. I like the designs of the buses themselves. I like the low skirt on this bus. Uh, pretty nice. Um, we got Zonar. Uh, Switch is right here. Now, as far as the sounds go, um, I think they're pretty decent. The engine sounds on the other buses uh, aren't the greatest, but um, we'll try this one. I like the AC units here. Different color seatbelts, which is uh, new to me. Uh, give me one second, guys. One second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go close my door. I don't know if I'm going to cut that out or not, but I just gave you guys a little bit of a warning just in case I don't. Um, so it's got different controls. It's not a Gen X, I don't believe. It doesn't look like one. Um, and it obviously doesn't use the same chassis. Okay. Uh, I believe it's... There we go. Um... N is for your lights, K is to uh, do the battery, and then J is the start. That's not bad. There's the rev. Uh, for the ambers, it's a V, B for that, and then you have to press F to open the door, uh, which is not too bad. Uh, I kind of like that because you kind of have to do multiple switches. You know how it's kind of not like a master switch. I love the reflection these lights are giving off. Uh, somebody had joined us. Okay. Um, this here is a little glitched. Uh, you guys might want to look into fixing that. It's kind of becoming daytime here. So let's go ahead and back out. Gauges in the bus do work. So this is kind of like their bus lot here. I don't know if they have more than one. Okay. They got bay garages. Um, now, one thing I am not a fan of, you'll see it here in a second. Um, okay, can we, we can open these. Okay, this bus is having a little bit Oh, I have to... Oh, it's a manual? Or no, it's semi... Let's change that to automatic. There we go. 
Okay. Um, okay, it's not showing it here, but when I went up to one of the houses, it actually had a huge number specifying which house it was. Um, maybe it'll do it up here. Yeah, see, um, I like that idea, but the numbers are just way too big. Way too big. You can definitely scale those down. Um, but I do think that's very cool. Another thing with the minimap, if you're going to have a minimap, you definitely want to be able to expand it, um, which is very simple. That's not very hard to implement. Probably YouTube will give you the best tutorial for that if you don't know how. Now, it is an AM, 6.07 AM. So we will go ahead and pick up. Yeah, no, those numbers are going to get in the way of my screenshot. That's So it's not best for, like, trying to get a thumbnail or anything like that. So I have to maybe go, like, right here to get a screenshot or something. Um, but if you, you know, if you're going to have something like this, you definitely want to have, like, a toggle, uh, you know, where you can toggle it on and off for UIs and stuff like that. Actually, let's go straight. Don't know how big the map is. Uh, it looks like there's a school right there. There's a bunch of stuff over there. So there's a middle school over there, elementary, and high school down there. Oops, kind of pulled off before I closed the door there. And what actually might be more beneficial, if you do actually uh, make the map uh, expand, uh, you can actually put these postals on the map, but that might actually be a bit better. That way they're not on the screen 24 seven. Okay, there's nothing to the left over there, I don't think. And it just wraps around. We'll go ahead and drive by the schools, because uh, this is a review. Uh, so I want to show you guys some of the stuff they have to offer building-wise. And this is kind of my first look anyway, so I am interested to see all of the builds. I'm not a fan of this road texture. Oops, kind of hit my mic there. I'm not a fan of the grass texture either. Those new textures aren't the greatest. I'd stick with kind of the original ones. Concrete and just the plain old simple grass. Because I think that texture is called leafy grass and that's it's not the best. So here's the elementary school. We're not going to pull in there. We'll just drive by it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here's the lot, I believe. That's the building that you spawn in right there. There's some offices in there. I like the air brakes. Do you see another bus over there? That's this person. Okay, this appears to be some sort of highway or interstate. Maybe not. No, it's just a very wide road. With three lanes. OK, 
Okay, let's go towards the high school there. What we got there? Some sort of shop or something? For the most part, you did a pretty good job on the roads. Uh, you do have a line kind of going across that. You wouldn't have that uh, in real life unless this is some place in Florida I'm not aware of. I don't think anybody anybody does that because you kind of have to drive over that line. Therefore, it really wouldn't serve a purpose to be there. A lot of open area over here. Possibly going to place down some more houses. Ooh, wait a minute. That high school looks huge. We've got some dead ends over here. Now, is this a diesel? I think it is. Make a left here. Um, I say this all the time, but, you know, lack of trees. Definitely want to put some trees down. I know Florida is very infamous for their canals and uh, rivers um, and ponds and stuff like that. So you'd probably be kind of cool. I don't know. I think Broward has... I don't know. I've never really viewed Broward. Um, but having some rivers, canals, and stuff like that would definitely make this game pop. A I don't know why the road section there is blue. Oh, we got some weather. That's nice. Different, very different. Okay. Oh, so it's just kind of okay. I see the bus loop here, but the high school doesn't have like oh wow, it's just like random blocks. There's no like detail. That's okay. Nice bus loop, though, over there. I li kind of like that. Yeah, no, so uh, kind of first look, this game does have its pros and cons. I like the weather. I like the minimap. Um, the spawner is okay. You know, it's, it's not the worst because I've seen worse. But there are definitely some things that make me question. Kind of like this here. I don't know. I don't know why that's blue. Yeah, you definitely need some ponds or something. I don't know if this game's worked on often. I'm going to assume that it is. But if it's not, hopefully this video will give it some recognition and it'll probably kind of uh, get to work on it. <clears throat> See, now this, that thing in the middle of the road, that roundabout, I think it's a... No, it's not a roundabout, is it? Let me check. It doesn't appear to be a roundabout. And if it is, you did it kind of weirdly. I like the trees in the middle here, but... This is not roundabout worthy because you have to kind of go like that. Unless you can only make turns. Maybe you can't go straight. I don't know. Uh, where's that middle school at? Oh, you kind of can't see it because of the fog. High school. I don't know. Okay.
that say one way? It does. Okay. We're just going to do this for video purposes. I'm hoping that rain clears up. I need to get a screenshot. Wow, this is a one, two, three, four, five lane road. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Maybe that's common in Florida. I don't know. So no working uh, indicator lights on the inside. That in front of me kind of just looks like an image or a decal of the like the speedometer. Where is that middle school at? I thought it was over here. A CVS, yep. Yeah, so lots of unfinished things, which is okay. I think there's a bus up here. Oh, there's yeah, there is. Okay, so that tells me that they don't have a a despawn system or script implemented. Definitely want to get those. Uh, but it did say in the kind of, um, there's the MS. It said in the introduction, it said to please despawn your bus once you leave, which we will do. Okay. We're going to head to this middle school. We're going to drop off and then we're going to wrap up the video. Um, Yeah, no, so in these reviews, I kind of try to give my little outlook on things and try to recommend some things that would be um, helpful towards the developers of the game. Uh, and a lot of these things are repeats. Uh, I find these kind of lacking in mini games. So it's to be expected, you know, it's nothing... Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is the road. Actually, then, then. wait, no. Yes, these road layouts are weird. Oh, we want to close this, don't we? Because it's raining. I don't... Can we close you, please? Not while we're moving. Okay. So here's the middle school. Kind of like the high school where it's kind of just a block. Um, not very detailed. The elementary school is detailed. Yeah, no, these roads aren't the best the way the lines are put down it's not realistic you might want to look into getting those fixed as well oh my god I hate it when people do this look at this the signs in the map if you're gonna have that you need to put it under the map I see so many games do that it's not even funny So here's the middle school. Not the greatest looking bus. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, they got all the signs right there. Never want to have that out. Moval County did that as well. Moval, California. Okay, we'll go ahead and... Can stop here. There we go. Okay, well that was kind of my review on Broward County. Hopefully this is the game you guys were actually looking for. I searched up Broward County and this is the one that I found. 
Um, it was the first one I found, so uh, let me just take a look and see when this was lastly updated. Okay. It was updated the first of the month, so it's been 21 days without an update. That's okay. But not bad. Like I said, got some pros and some cons, as do all games. Uh, but if you guys do wish to play this game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. If you guys have another game you want me to check out, list it down below. I'll be sure to check it out. Um, with that being said, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.